We're playing a Better Call Saul zombies map. If any of you are familiar with Breaking Bad or the show Better Call Saul, then this should look very familiar to you. Now, I don't believe there's any kind of spoilers for this, thank God. Oh, this 1911 looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. It reminds me of the Black Ops 1 1911. Look how shiny this thing is. I think it's fairly small, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna immediately go buy this quick arrive. And we have some kind of debris here. Oh, we have a perk in here. Okay, so there's more rooms than I was expecting. Okay, that's cool. Oh my God, is that Mike over there? <laughs> Okay, dude, Mike from Breaking Bad. One of my favorite characters, actually. Guy is just amazing. The the actor did a fucking insane job. Where do we want to go? We got the laundry machines here. I mean, I kind of want to go straight to the office, you know, because I'm figuring that, well, the box is right there, obviously. Maybe the packet punch will be over there, too. The power switch, perhaps. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Uh, let's open this door. It seems to be the cheapest one, so it gives me hope. Okay, we've got a Gun here is the M14, a 500 points. Okay, we're really struggling to start off. Uh, we've got another door here. I mean, oh, it's got like the Shadows of Evil doors. I like this. 2,000 to get in. How much is this? The stakeout for 1,500. Another door here. Oh, we can't open this one. Okay, look at that light switch, dude. Look how high res that light switch is. This map will, of course, be in the description below if you want to download it for yourself. Better call Saul. Insane. Okay, dude. What? <laughs> what? Okay, never mind. Hey, if you've watched Breaking Bad, you know this scene. This guy's iconic. Okay, we're literally 10 points away. Can we go and buy the shotgun real quick? Yeah, here we go. Ooh, boom, boom. The stakeout. Nice Black Ops 1 guns, it seems. I don't know about you guys, but I always love the stakeout. Like, Black Ops 1 probably has some of the best zombies guns, honestly. Black Ops 2 might be my favorite because it actually, like, when you go to hit the mystery box in Black Ops 2, it feels like you are spinning for a random chance, you know? Because there are guns that are genuinely just bad in there. But in Black Ops 3, there's no real bad guns. In Black Ops 1, most of the guns were really good. It's just the fact you don't have Double Tap 2.0. Anyway, we got 2,000 points for this door. Uh, we should be able to get it this round. Could you imagine if Saul Goodman was just in there? What is this, dude? <laughs> oh, I need to watch Better Call Saul. I still haven't seen the show just yet. But of course, seeing him in Breaking Bad was fucking great. Walt, uh, <clears throat> I'm looking at the answer right here. It's staring me in the face. Do I have to spell it out for you? Zombies. I think he probably is my single favorite character, so the fact he got like a full-on dedicated spin-off is pretty great. Also, this is a very nice car park just to uh, train around the zombies. Look how open this area is, holy shit. And they could have made it even more open, of course, but gotta nerf it somehow. The double points as well. We're gonna get so many points this round. Look at this stakeout, man. Ooh. So clean. We've got exactly 5,000. Okay, let's go and open this Saul Goodman door. What's gonna be behind here, huh? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Look at this office. It looks so clean. So anything around here? We got some kind of Easter egg, perhaps? Low res writing on the walls. Love it to bits. Ah, power is this way, apparently. There's a door here. Let's go ahead and buy that. Then. I didn't even know Saul Goodman had like stuff behind his place. Oh, I guess it's the back alleys, right? Okay. An FN foul on the wall. Power is in this door. Jesus, there's a lot of doors. This map is bigger than I was expecting, to be honest. I was thinking it was going to literally just be the office, but no. Okay, we got one zombie left, finally. Okay, what we got in here? Oh, this is also a door. Okay, it looks like there's... Is that speed cola? No, that's stamina up in there, I think. Well, hopefully the power is behind here. Oh, we got jug. Let's go, power switch. Okay, with you, get out of the way. We've got 2,000 points now. What do we want to do? I mean, we can buy double tap, maybe? Would that be the play? We can't quite afford jug, you know, so... Sometimes I like to get other perks before Jug. Seems a little bit more risky because having Jug kind of solidifies you don't go down, but you know, we're making a YouTube video, man. Let's, let's take a little bit of a risk. Plus, it was nice because I put up a poll not too long ago asking you guys what your least favorite and favorite like perks were in Zombies, and most people were saying like the standard pick was Juggernaut, obviously. I, I should have worded it differently because obviously everyone's going to pick Jug. You kind of have to if you're considering a best perk. I should have just said favorite, but my favorite is probably, I forget what I said, but I have a double tap or stamina up, but double taps just, it makes so things so satisfying to use, you know? I can't play zombies now without getting stamina up as well, unless I'm using like a shotgun, which has a really slow reload, you know, kind of like the stakeout, but I never really appreciated stamina up until like later zombies experiences. Let's go buy this juggernaut real quick. Hello, hello. I like that it's for Cold War perk machines as well. Very nice. Now, I've been looking for any kind of part or like Easter egg or something, but it didn't say anything before I checked the map itself. Oh, we have a door for 2750. Ooh. This might be the stamina room. That could be the back end of it, but we'll see. I think what we want to do is actually buy another 
weapon. We've got the mystery box right there, so we can do it at the end of this round. All right, there we go. Round done. Here we go. Mystery box. Come on, let me buy. What have we got in here? I see a Wonder Wolf, a PPSH, a Commando, and we get monkeys, dude. <laughs> Okay, man. Like, isn't that exactly the same thing as what happened in the fucking RV Breaking Bad map that I played? First spin of the box, I get little armies, dude. And then after that, I get monkeys. Like, ugh, come on, man. I just wanted a gun. At least we have insta-kill double points, I suppose. You know, a little bit of a silver lining here. Well, let's have a look, shall we? What's behind this door? Ah, oh, it's the Pack-A-Punch machine. And we've got electric cherry. Okay, hopefully there's no perk limit because that would be nice. Uh, sheets of white paper. Lovely. Awesome. AK-74U on the wall. I do like the AK. You know what? I'll buy it. I'm a big fan of the AK-74U, especially this version. Like, the way this one looks with the sort of smooth aesthetic, I prefer this infinitely. I think this is like the Black Ops 2 version. Well, let's go ahead and pack a punch. Uh, actually, let's wait a second. <laughs> I was going to go in there, but you know for a fact I'm going to get trapped. There we go. Round ended. Boom. Pack a punch machine. Gimme, gimme. Oh, it's got the Revelations camo. Oh, I'm a big fan of this. Let's go. Oh, a double points. Hell yeah. I mean, we could just work on getting all of our perks. We've got Mule Kick in there. We haven't actually gone all the way to the back, so maybe there's something on that side of the map. Ooh, reload. And we can certainly afford it now. We've got 7,000 points. Boom. Here we go. Right. What's that going to be? We've got a Spectre, Mule Kick, some kind of... What's in here, dude? What the fuck? I don't know what I'm looking at. There's got to be something I'm going to kill you. What am I looking at? There's really, really, there's no Easter egg in here. I would have fully expected it to be like a Bible ending or something. This look, like it looks like a room, you know, that would have something. I guess it is literally just a mule kick door. Wow, what a what a useless room. <laughs> I've never been a huge fan of Mule Kick, to be honest. It's fine anyway. Let's go and open this door because Stamina Up is in here, so we actually want to buy that. Oh, yeah. Look at how smooth this is running around. I assume there's going to be no perk limit, but we want to find out. Oh, Prestige Master level 40. God bless the boy client. Playing without a single drop frame is incredibly nice. Uh, we're almost out of ammo, actually. Let's buy Speed Cola. Anything in this room? Did I miss anything? Oh, it's kind of a... F to call for a new dust filter for <laughs> Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60. That's hilarious that they use that as the ending. Because if you've seen Breaking Bad, you, you understand the reference. But yeah, there is no perk limit, thank God. Let's actually go and buy Deadshot then. Because I'm assuming that it'll be Cold War Deadshot, considering it's the Cold War-like perk machine. Oh my God, we drank that fast. Yeah, we, we definitely have uh, Cold War Speed Cola. All right, what are we going to get from here? The FAMAS. Okay, I'll take it. The Black Ops 1 for Mars is pretty iconic, not gonna lie. Just listen to the sound of this, Oh, Like, it, it really shreds. So it's 30,000 for the Bible ending, not too bad at all. Now we're just playing save up, I guess. How amazing would it have been if all the Zombies Chronicles maps that released in Black Ops 3 actually had the weapons from their original games? Like, I know they added the AK-74U and, what was it, the RPK. Like, cool, dude. Great. Nice. But why could they have not, like, just ported all the Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 guns over? I mean, custom map creators have been able to do it. Like, there's a gun mod for basically every single Call of Duty game to release to this day. Like, hell, there's even one for Vanguard, I'm pretty sure. Just small details like that, I think, would have gone a long way. Because Zombies Chronicles, don't get me wrong, was fucking amazing. Like, you know, it was the best-selling PlayStation DLC on the entire, like, PlayStation network during, what was it, 2017. But still, you can always like go that little step further and just be even better. Because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but who's actually going back and playing Zombies Chronicles nowadays? Like, I find that all the World of War remakes in Black Ops 3 are overshadowed by their previous, you know, incarnations. The World of War versions are just better. Like, who's playing Chronicles Verrupt over World of War Verrupt? I just think World of War is like so much more iconic. And you got Nactar and Totem, which, you know, it, it looks cool, but eh, it's whatever, I suppose. Oh, the Galil, let's go. And then Shino Numa. I mean, everyone forgets about Shino Numa, but it does look pretty great in Zombies Chronicles. Like, you know, aesthetically, they look really cool, but they aren't more fun to play, is my point. The only Chronicles maps that I actually enjoy playing, honestly, Moon? <laughs> Moon, that's about it. Like, Ascension, the original's better because it has PhD Plopper. Shangri-La is pretty awesome. Like, I think Shangri-La and Moon are the two best Zombies Chronicles maps because Origins on Zombies Chronicles, like, I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but it's just incredibly buggy. You know, they got rid of a bunch of the useful skips for the Easter egg that were in the original Black Ops 2 version. But I'm not going to go on too much of a rant. You know, I'll be here all fucking day if I'm talking about Zombies Chronicles and 
things I think that were missing from the game and whatever. By and large, Chronicles was a success. That's what matters. And, you know, that was back when fucking Treyarch and zombies in general had a lot of love in the community. Now it's a little bit... Eh. I have faith for COD 2024, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. Cold War was like a pretty damn good game, honestly. It was a pretty good zombies game. And the fact that it's going to be practically a sequel to Cold War does give me a lot of hope because I know Vanguard was obviously a disappointment, right? But that development was cut short and it was made not even fully by Treyarch. So I wouldn't worry too much if you're thinking like, oh, COD 2024 is going to be Vanguard Part 2. It will be better than that. 100% guarantee it will be better than that. It will at least be something enjoyable. Even if it's only for like a month at a time or whatever, like, you know, Cold War. The problem with zombies has always been like, a map will release, you'll enjoy it. And then about three weeks to a month later, you have this incredibly dry period of nothing releasing. There's just no content. Like, that's what zombies always failed at. Even on Black Ops 3, you know, one the best zombies game to release so far it was still lackluster in the sense that after the DLCs dropped, you know, especially during Zets of Onoshima to like a Gorod Krovi, it was just so long of a wait. It was so dry and boring and there was nothing to do, really. We just need to have some kind of like, I don't know, different game modes or playlist updates or some shit like challenges, anything just to keep people wanting to play. Oh, we can actually <laughs> end the round and we could perfectly afford this viable ending. Let's go. Give me that new dust filter for a Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60, please. And there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Better Call Saul Zombies map. Nice little small survival fun experience. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you all so much for 10k subscribers, and I will see you in the next video.